grouper are one of those animals that pull people in. They have this, this gravitational pull and they are an iconic animal at multiple facilities who like to park at the window. They have so much fun looking at you, all right? They're looking right back at you. They're not scared of you. They're not scared of anything. And it, it's very interesting to watch them because they seem to seek out interaction. That's the kind of connection. That, that's what's helping us make those connections with our guests so that when they come up, here's one more thing to just fingerprints and nose prints on the, you can't get close enough to this guy. It's very exciting to have Goliath Grouper back at the Florida Aquarium. We have had Goliath Grouper here in the past, and Cletus, who was a fan favorite. Um, so it is great to have multiple Goliath Grouper back here at Florida Aquarium. We got our two new Goliath Grouper back around the end of June, and they've been in quarantine since then. So it's just about two months that we've had them in quarantine. For the quarantine team, we basically are the first people to get hands-on with any animal that's coming to the aquarium. Uh, because we don't want to put them in on habitat right away with any of our animals that we already have here just because if they come in with some kind of disease or some kind of parasite we just want to make sure all of these animals are clean and healthy coming from wherever they're coming before we put them on habitat with our animals that we already have here. When we first get these new animals we put them into their new holding area until the vet staff can arrive. And we do what's called an entrance exam for these animals. So specifically for these two fish, the entrance exam was just a skin scrape on them where all we had to do was go in and kind of get our fish up next to the, the vets. And they came in with just a little micro, microscope slide and gave them a little scrape. And then they look under that, uh, or they look at that under the microscope to see what kind of parasites or anything that some of our new fish are bringing in. One of the first things that we look for when we get new animals into quarantine is just to make sure that they're eating. Eating is like the first sign of letting us know like, hey, they're healthy, they're doing all right. So it makes us feel a lot better. Target feeding specifically is when we have some kind of target. For example, with our grouper, we just had a large PVC pipe and we stuck a red circle on it. And that's basically telling these grouper like, hey, we're gonna put this target in the water and he's gonna see that and every single time we're putting the target in the water, we're gonna be feeding them. So it kind of makes that connection of, hey, this big red thing's in the water and there's food. So every single time he starts seeing that, that target in the water, he knows, hey, I'm gonna get food. So he comes up to it. Target training is actually critical to these guys um, and to, most, to a lot of animals. Anytime that we have control over the feeding process of an animal, that allows us to accomplish a, a large number of things. This process starts with the animal targeting on a small target when it's in quarantine. So our quarantine team initiated this right after we started. And by the end of it, as soon as the target hit, the animal would come over and be reinforced with a piece of food. This is really important because when you're in a small holding pool and you're in a quarantine situation, there is no competition going on around you. But this is the relationship. This is the behavior that is critical to establish when you put it in a large community exhibit, like either the bridge exhibit or in our large coral reef exhibit. You want to have that animal come to you to eat. On Habitat, we'll still use that same target that we use during quarantine. So when we stick that target in the water, the hopes is that he will see it and be motivated by food and go towards the top, towards us, and we can feed him. You can find our two new grouper here at the Florida Aquarium in two different locations. Um, the first one, the smaller guy, he is in the bridge piling location uh, at the very ends of bays and beaches right before the stingray touch tank. And the second guy, our larger one, he is at the pan window uh, in our coral reef habitat. I really hope that people come here and can enjoy First off, obviously all of our animals that we do have here and just being able to see them in person, but also the incredible diversity that we have here on our blue planet. Just how incredibly diverse this, this world is and being able to put that on display for people coming to the Florida Aquarium. That's what, I, that's what I hope people take away. I love being on the quarantine team here at the Florida Aquarium because I get to work with and interact almost every single animal that you see on Habitat here. They have to come through us first before they can go on to their habitat. So I get to work with everything ranging from our birds to our reptiles to our Goliath grouper. And being able to do that just 
is amazing. I, I love that and I love working here and being a part of this team. The most rewarding part for me is seeing the guests smile or coming in behind a family or coming in even behind our guests and just listening to the comments. But the other thing that I enjoy in my position now is exposing our team to different experiences and to seeing the excitement of you can handle this animal and do it in a manner that you put the animal back in and a couple hours later, it resumes eating. It resumes normal behavior. Watching our staff take pride in learning new skill sets, uh, develop the ability to maintain these large animals, to start to understand the importance of that connection from quarantine all the way through onto habitat. And then how to continue that training and take it to the next level so that we can provide the best animal welfare possible assess these guys on a regular basis and make sure that we are doing our best to provide the best habitats possible.